So the inspiration for this latest video comes from two friends of mine, actually. Uh, the first friend, he wanted to fill a large ravine full of water, and so what he wanted to do was use a deployer and fill it with an Evertide, yeah, an Evertide amulet, which creates water blocks, and with a client star, and put it in a deployer. And what a deployer does is mimics right-clicking. So uh, obviously, if you've got a Evertide amulet and a client star, and you right-click, you produce a water source block. So uh, essentially, that's what he's done with that. And the other friend on the same Tekkit server, he uh, has a situation where he's run out of lava at the bottom of his volcano. Uh, he lives in the volcano, he's running off geothermal power, and the lava's run out. So what he does at the moment is he goes down to the bottom of his volcano, plonks down, vol uh, plonks down lava source blocks with his vulcanite amulet, and then that keeps it fueled for a while. So, uh, and it didn't take me long to kind of merge the two ideas in my mind to create a uh, EMC to Industrial Craft EU power converter. So uh, so what we're using is the deployer, as I said earlier, and uh, oh, I should be flying, there we go. So uh, this is a very basic, basic setup, and what we got here, I'll show you, is we've got a very basic shaft surrounded by water, and at the bottom there is a deployer. It's pointing upwards. Hang on, I'll get a deployer out to show you. Uh, Deployer. There we go. That's a deployer, and as with all uh, red power objects, you can change the orientation of it with a screwdriver or sonic screwdriver. So uh, yeah, we're changing it. Now the direction it right clicks in is the one that has this uh, this face here. So obviously the one down here is pointing directly upwards at this buildcraft uh, pump, which is being powered by four redstone engines. So uh, what we do is we simply go boom, we've got a little timer here, you can turn off timers off and on with the by putting a lever next to it. And what this is doing is it's sending a signal up to this deployer every couple of seconds. And bam, lava comes out. So we can see it coming out here. Uh, the mining well is pumping it up and it's going into these, uh, these tanks here. Just to show you what's inside it, we have... Ooh, that. We have a client star, Omega. Uh, any client star will do. The bigger, the bigger and more full it is, the last, longer it will last without maintenance. And a Volcani amulet. So there you go. Uh, I've only put it on a single, producing a single block because it costs less EMC to do so. And since it's a very thin shaft, uh, using any more would just be a waste of EMC. So what we've got it going here is we got it going into these pipes, and then if we turn these on at the bottom. We'll be pumping out some lava, and these will go into these geothermal generators, which will then produce power going into this MFE unit here, MFSU even. So we'll just actually, we should see power coming into it right now. Yeah, brilliant. Now it's worth noting that uh, that this setup is quite cheap to make. Uh, geothermal generators fairly cheap, uh, buildcraft pumps fairly cheap, redstone engines blah blah blah. And I think this setup is slightly uh, has a slight amount of loss because uh, if uh, there's a source block here and they're both full, uh, it will still try and place a source block and use the 64 EMCs worth of that it costs to use a Vulcanite amulet. So yes, it's not a hundred percent, but I have got a more advanced version over here, which uses a few more components, but it's a lot uh, a lot better in terms of EU to, no, EMC to EU transfer. So it's pretty much the same setup, except we've got a larger pool. Uh, so we've got this large 5 by 5 by 3 pool, which gives us uh, plenty of space, and we've got a buildcraft pump. Uh, not buildcraft, a red power pump, sorry. My bad. Uh, oh, let's make it light. Bam. Now, a red power pump is... Quite interesting. What it what it does is if you have you have a grate at one side, put a pump in the middle somewhere, and then a grate at the other side, which we're having underneath here. And what they do is just you know it takes a source block from one side, pumps it through, and places them on the other side. The advantage, the thing that this can do that a deployer by itself cannot, is consistently fill up a large pool like this, whereas a deployer will just kind of you know keep just spamming this bottom block here and just it'll all seep out and you'll get wastage because the same source block will be uh, reapplied with the with the EMC 
So what this does is it gives you a lot more space to work with and it means that each EMC uh, lava block is actually being used. So if we turn this on, bam. So we need to apply a redstone signal to uh, a pump for that to work. And it also needs uh, energy from a, from a bat box. Uh, just to try and make this design a bit more funky, what I've done here is put thermopiles at the bottom of the well, uh, or whatever you want to call it, with water around the outside, as you can see through this glass. And what will happen is when we pump in, lava will pop out here and seep over these thermopiles, uh, which produce the uh, heat dispersions, disparity, or whatever you want to call it, which causes the therm thermopiles to produce energy. It's not necessary, but, you know, it's kind of fun to have a bit of... Uh, the power being produced from this uh, back into the system. So let's turn this on. Same again. Uh, bam. We should be producing thingy. Why not? Maybe it needs to be the other way around. I think it's just that it's actually going so fast that we're not actually seeing the lava source blocks. That's all it's doing. Uh, and I worked out that the fastest you can do this without it breaking in any kind of way is about a second. You go any lower, either the pump won't be able to keep up, or sometimes it will just produce source blocks uh, and nothing will happen. And we get confused. So yeah, if we stand in here, I'm probably going to get burned, just to show that it's actually producing something. Just about. Yeah. Right. So as you can see, this is filling up quite fast. Uh, and now those thermopiles are pretty much fully covered. Yep, there we go and will be producing energy which will be in, is being supplied back into this unfortunately the setup i had didn't quite produce enough power to run the pump by itself so i've got a few solar panels here just to just to kind of spruce it up and beyond that it's pretty much the same thing really uh you know you pump out the top of the pump go into some things and into your geothermal generators and into your mfsu and that's about it, really. So, uh, long story short, if you're if EMC is no object, use this use this particular setup. It's it's a bit more efficient, a bit easier to make, a bit cheaper. But if EMC is an object and you actually want to conserve each individual point, use this particular setup. And one thing I forgot to do, which I'm going to do now, bam, we need glass here, just to stop it overflowing. Because we don't want things to overflow. So, yeah, just do that. Um, that means that the lava will not overflow and cause a disaster. As it's about to. Yep, yep, we just caught it. <laughs> so, yeah, if, eventually if, it does will go so fast that your pump can't keep up, which is why I think I had it set to three originally. Because, whoop, that's not what I want to do. Because three... Uh, once these have warmed up these redstone pumps, redstone engines, uh, three seconds is about right for it to uh, get, get the lava out. Uh, one thing of note is that each geothermal, uh, each lava source block will produce 20,000 uh, units of energy, EU, in a geothermal generator. So for 64 uh, EMC per block, uh, per usage of the Vulcanite amulet, I think that works out for about 312.5 around that. I might be slightly wrong, I, I sort of did that, did the calculations a few minutes ago and uh, it's still not quite fresh in my mind. But it's around that much, so yeah. If you imagine one, e, one EMC is about 312 power, you're, that's, that's pretty good, that's pretty con conversion rate. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's it for today's one. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope this has helped you. Bye.